Hi, Soul Family. This is Latanya with Sergi Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Uh, this will be from today, September the 3rd through September the 15th. I started with the Virgo the other day because it's Virgo season and uh, air signs. Now I'm on to fire signs. Just completed Sagittarius. Now I'm on to Aries. Before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for the emails, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, because it's still all your energy. Um, and so family, thank you for your comments and sharing your personal story because it helps to heal others who are going through the same situation, similar situations, or who are coming up behind the energy. Uh, we did have a full moon in Pisces this past Tuesday, so I hope that you are setting your intentions, uh, releasing toxic places, things, vices, and situations, and situationships, uh, moving out of low vibe and karmic um, connections, right? And ready to manifest to be on your life path. Ready to manifest so that you can create your legacy, right? Even during the pandemic. Um, we do have Labor Day coming up this Monday, so happy Labor Day. Uh, and I think that's about it. Well, this would not resonate with everyone, so maybe 5%, 1%, one or two people, whoever's meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, rising, Venus, Mars, Saturn, North Node, South Node, all those areas in your natal birth chart that make up who you are. Aries, before I get into your pre-shuffle, I would actually like to read your horoscope for the month of September. Okay. So, and it reads, coming out of the gate swinging isn't the most productive approach. <laughs> that whole thing about attracting flies with honey applies, applies, okay. Backing down from a necessary conflict isn't good, but assess the situation first and decide if diplomacy will get you further. Of course it will, right? Uh, rewarding days will be the 4th and the 5th of this month, and your challenging days will be mid-month, the 18th and the 19th. So Aries, I have already set my intentions. I have already done my prayer off camera. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you are having a good week. Staying focused on yourself, setting your intentions, staying focused on your breath through meditation, fresh air, getting exercise, if you're quarantined, getting exercise around your apartment, and if you don't have allergies, opening your windows, getting fresh air, right? All right, two more. Let's cut the deck. Aries, your focus. The Emperor in the reverse. Hmm. So, showing up in your reading, but you're reversed. You also have the Two of Pentacles. You also have the world, Major Arcana. You also have the Two of Cups. You also have the Eight of Swords. You also have the Three of Cups in the reverse. And you also have the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, Aries. Come on down. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, I know that was loud, sorry. For those of you with headphones on. <laughs> Aries, your focus, the emperor, major arcana, in the reverse. Hmm. Now the upright, well the, well the emperor, he combines all the kings, right? And all the queens, 
if we we're talking about the Empress also because we're talking energy. But this is someone who is financially stable, right? And very well grounded and mentally stable, right? And hmm. Just has a strong foundation, right? And is deeply connected with the divine. And as you can see, this emperor, his sacral is really on fire. His sacral chakra, right? Hmm. So he loves a lot of pleasure and adventure. <laughs> ah, okay. But in the reverse, oh, we know this is someone who can be very controlling, their way or the highway. And this is someone who puts their needs first, right? This, unfortunately, can also be a narcissist, right? And being in the reverse, being controlling and even having the sacral lit up like that, that could uh, be abuse of vices and even uh, sex addictions, right? But let's keep going. You also have the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Now this is juggling, right? This is juggling work situations, situationships, work and career, family and career, right? Just trying to keep everything in balance. And as you can see, this person is crouched very low. It's almost like he's waiting for something else to be thrown his way, but he's keeping on top of things, right? Very engaged. You also have the world, Major Arcana. Hmm. This is completing a series of steps and lessons, right? In one chapter, just ready to move on to the next thing, right? And the world, this is someone who's usually become enlightened on their path as to what's good and what's not good, right? Ready for adventure, ready for the next challenge, and is usually fully awakened. You also have the Two of Cups. Hmm. Now we know with the Two of Cups, this is a harmonious soulmate connection, right? Often provided from the divine, right? And, and we know soulmates can be short-term, they can be long-term. They could just be to teach us a lesson about self-love and self-respect and self-worth, or they could just be long-term where they're not only all of those three things, but building legacies together. You also have the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. This is feeling like your hands are tied, feeling mummified, feeling like there's nothing you can do at the moment, right? Nothing you can say, no actions you can take, feeling guarded, perhaps even guarding something that you don't want to come to light, but let's keep going. You also have the Three of Cups and the reverse. Now, on the upright, the Three of Cups is just that. It's celebration, right? And it's family reunions and it's get-together with friends and others and having good times and reunions could be also third-party situations or lots of activity with others. But in the reverse, this is getting together with others but not enjoying the moment, right? Perhaps a lot of partying and drinking and drugs and not really celebrating, right? Just doing things to blow off steam or even doing a lot of others to blow off steam, right? You also have Nine of Pentacles. This is being abundant and standing in your foundation and enjoying the fruits of your labor, right? And even ghosts from your past that are creeping up within your foundation, right? And as you can see, this person is looking at this bat, which we know the bat is contributed, as they're saying, to the COVID, right? And looking at situations and understanding how you have to keep going and not allow anything to affect your livelihood or your pentacles. Aries on the board, we have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, we also have cups. 
Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have Pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have the Emperor, Aries, and the world, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay, so we're talking uh, soulmate connection here, but there's no communication. And there's the only sword here is the Eight of Swords, and that's being trapped in one's mind and being mummified and not willing to take a risk on anything. So there's no communication, no DMs, no texts, no phone calls, no handwritten messages, no knocks on the door. And the only cup is the soulmate cup and the three of cups in reverse, which means an abuse of party and alcohol, drugs, sex. Hmm. But Aries, this is you. The emperor or the empress in reverse. And being the emperor or the empress, well, of course you're juggling, right? And being in the reverse, that means is your way or the highway. You like to control others, situations, your place of work, or your place of business, right? And it looks like you're doing very well juggling. Thing is, you had this soulmate connection. A gift from the divine. And Aries, I do believe you used your free will and you possibly manipulated the situation. Or even tried to control the situation with just your sacral, right? <laughs> It's the sacral, the base in here. I think it's the sacral right here, but maybe you just wanted sex from this person, no love. That's not where you're looking for. You're looking for things how you want it and when you want it. So I think this soulmate moved on, right? Mm, chapter is closed on this situation because this person can see that you're controlling maybe even harsh or nasty with words maybe even disrespectful in your actions maybe you even ghosted them and never returned phone calls or didn't even give them the time of the day because you were so busy juggling, right? Juggling others, juggling situationships. The thing is, Aries, what are you trapped in? Well, the Three of Cups being in reverse, it's almost like you're trapped in alcohol. Drugs and sex here. You're not wanting to give your time or energy to a divine soulmate. Matter of fact, you treated your divine soulmate. Well, you treated them like an option, right? With all these other cups. And you juggled them. Which is why I do believe that they called it quits. And ended this cycle because they understood that you were not awakened. And being in the reverse, you are not awakened. This is living in the 3D, 
just money and vices, right? Just the mundane, every day. Money, vices, possessions, material things. And that soulmate figured it out and they moved on about their business. But you still have all these other karmic situations. A lot of drinking, a lot of drugs, a lot of sex. You still having a good time here, even during the pandemic, right? And you're looking good. You have money. The thing is, are you happy? When you can control everyone and everything in the 3D, possibly with your money, maybe you boast and brag, maybe you tell your business, and that's how you keep others connected to you in social circles. But the thing is, are you really happy when this is all you have and money? Because there's no love here, right? Just probably lots of work and lots of vices. And Aries says, if this isn't for you, then this is for your cross watcher, right? Maybe the person that you're dealing with, they were your soulmate. It was a divine connection. And this person puts you in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth party situations, right? But let's get some cards here of Oracle cards and see what we come up with. So we have the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Exactly. That's what soulmate connections are about, right? And with this coming up as the mirror, this was actually a twin flame situation, right? Someone who tried to show you self-love, self-respect, and you didn't want to see that, right? You wanted to control the outcome in the situation. The mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you are, seeing who you really are. And you have one more. Oh. Intent, let me read the back. Focus your energy. There is amazing power in a strong intention. Intent. Focus your energy. There is strong power and intention, right? Setting your intentions, right? Because is money and drugs and sex, is that all you want as an emperor? The emperor should be upright, building legacy after legacy after legacy. And balanced, mentally stable, mentally balanced, right? Hmm. When you're in this state, you're not able to manifest. Yes, you're an emperor. Yes, you have money. Yes, you have a foundation. But how much money do you really have? Do you have the money that you should have as an emperor on, your, on this life path? Do you have the foundation that you should have on this life path, right? Setting your intentions. There is amazing power in a strong intention, right? So Aries, this is your reading from today, September the 3rd through September the 15th. We do have that, we do have that full moon uh, Tuesday. It goes back to setting your intentions, right? Clearing out karmic situations, situationships, places, things, vices. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course comment. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saji Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you so family. Have a good week.